from All About The House. I just wanted to record a quick video about my latest e-course called How To Make Labels In Photoshop. So if you've seen my shop on Etsy before, you'll notice that I have quite a lot of stickers, labels, um, whichever you want to call them. So i am become really obsessed with making planner stickers. They, It's an addiction. Once you start, you just can't stop. Some of the other things that I like to make are like pantry labels and cleaning labels. So I just do a search in my shop. And then I've also got like planner tab labels. Um, so we can go to these ones. So these are some really pretty labels that I made. I also did some cleaning labels as well. So if you're interested in making these sorts of labels or planner stickers or any sort of labels for that matter, um, this e-course will show you how. So I'm a really big fan of Photoshop. It's super easy to use. If you're feeling like overwhelmed or daunt, um, daunted by it, don't be. It's actually a super quick and easy tool to use. There's a bunch of tools in there. I would probably use max a third of them. Half the tools you don't even need to use. Half of them I don't even know what they're called. Um, once you know what you're doing, it's really quick and easy to use. So I prefer to use Photoshop for making labels. Um, so this is just the sales page, page for the e-course. So we can see that we have a lot of tutorials. So I've got tips on choosing label sizes and page size, whether you want to go with letter size, A4, half page size, um, different types of labels that you could make. So pantry labels and cleaning labels, organizing storage bins, uh, office labels. That's just a few of the different types of labels that you could make. And then we go into the tutorials. So I've recorded video tutorials for all of these ones. So we've got, you can do round labels, you could do a square or rectangle, you could do any shape that you wanted. You could even do like heart labels and cut them out with your silhouette machine. You can do labels using clip art, um, circle text. There's so many different ways that you can do labels. It's literally endless options. It's one of those things where you'll just, you'll never be finished. There's just so many different designs that you can create, different colors, sizes, styles, graphics textiles, font size, there's just so many different ways that you can customize labels and you can have a lot of fun with it. So different types of frames, if you wanted to add a border, if you wanted to make labels that are compatible with Avery, so if you don't have a silhouette machine and you want to have them cut onto Avery label paper which has already got like the little circles or the squares pre-cut out and you just print it onto the label sheet and peel it off. So that's how you would make labels in there. Then I've got some more tutorials on how to do labels how to make address labels, so wraparound ones, those ones where you can see the um, address on the front and then if you fold the label back onto the back side of the um, envelope you've got the return address label, then some different types of labels that you could make with some examples, so after I show you all those tutorials you might be going, hmm, where do I start, I'm just, I need some inspiration, so I do have some examples in there, and then how to use um, pre-made label templates so you can get Photoshop templates already set up with the whole sheet to be with like two inch circles if you wanted to. I do have them in my other Etsy shop called Paper Cravings and I've included a free one in the course as well if you want to try it out um, and, and have a go with it. So there's lots of different ways that you can make labels and then if you want to use free software if you don't want to pay for Photoshop which is actually really cheap it's less than 15 bucks a month um, then you can also do some labels in Canva, but note that the things that you can make in Canva is limited. It doesn't have as many design tools as Photoshop, but if you want um, a free alternative or you just want to start with something for free, if you're not sure if you want to go full into Photoshop, or you just want to make some really simple labels, then Canva is a good place to start. So I've also got a tutorial in there as well. Then we've got some resources. So my favorite font websites because fonts really make a label. Font is like one of the main key features of your label, so you really want to choose the right one. So I have my favorite font websites in there as well, and then also my recommended label paper. So when should you use glossy paper? When should you use matte? Where can you get label paper from? Where can you get it from that's reasonably priced? Where can you get gold foil label paper from? Um, all those sorts of stuff, where to find um, like Avery label paper, etc. And then if you wanted to use the skills that you've learned to create some labels for sale, if you wanted to sell them on Etsy, on um, Zazzle, which is uh, basically you upload your design and they will create the product and ship it out to the customer and you get a commission. So that's super easy. You just make your product upload done and it's a really good source of passive income. So if you wanted to create labels for sale, I show you how to make a color chart. That is one of the things that I really 
got frustrated with when I was starting um, my Etsy shop because I could not find a color chart template anywhere. I spent hours Googling, I was Googling tutorials, I was like, how can I make a color chart? So I also have a template as well as videos on showing how to use that template to quickly and easily make a color chart. It's something that I really wish had been around a couple of years ago when I was first starting out making printables. So that is really useful. And then also how to prepare your files for printing. So what file format should you use? How to save it? How to um, protect your files to prevent people from copying them and ripping off your designs? And then also how to create a promo image, promo image for your labels. Um, so if you're selling them like on Etsy and you want to have your listing photos, how to make those photos and how to make them look good. And then printing tips. So what, um, for example, what paper you should print on as well as like if you should do borderless printing, what file format you should print with, etc. So if you're interested in learning how to make labels in Photoshop, I'll include a link below this video. Um, but if you, this is the URL up here, if you wanted to type it in, or you can just go to my blog, which is allabouttheHouseprintables.com, and then just type in like labels, and it will take you to the blog post where I shared a bit more about this e-course. So it's just some of the things that you can use it to organize for. I love labels. They're so good for organizing things. They're really quick and easy to make and they're really low cost as well. So you can just print them out, cut them and stick them on and done. It saves so much time when things are properly labeled, whether it be like your pantry or your office supplies. If you have like stuff in boxes, so I use them for my um, Christmas decorations, like I do content labels of what's in them so I don't have to open the box and poke around in there, especially if it's not a um, storage bin that's clear. If it's got like colored and I can't see inside it, then labels are really good for that. And then also address labels. If you wanted to do business packaging, so I created some um, cute labels for my sister's shop called Carefully Crafted, which she uses for um, like her business cards. And then also for like branding and sticking on product packages, um, sealing envelopes, etc. So these are some of the labels that you could make using the skills I teach in the course. So you can do round labels, square, you could do rectangle. You can use all different types of patterns and colors, etc. If you need some patterns, I have them in my shop called Paper Cravings, which is my Etsy shop, my second Etsy shop. Um, and I also have another e-course where I show how to use, uh, sorry, how to make um, all of these patterns as well if you want full customization over your labels. Um, but this one is a really good introductory course. If you um, are really interested in graphic design but you're not sure where to start, I would start with this course. And then we've got some pantry labels and then one of those wraparound address labels. So I show you how to make all of these. You can really make anything that you want. You could do some kitchen labels, um, thank you tags, some teacher labels, monograms, um, address labels, nautical, love nautical. You could do one with your um, state. This one's really cute. Another nautical, cute cupcake if you had like a bakery or you wanted to do like business stickers. Um, and then frequently asked questions. So you will need Photoshop. I use Photoshop version CX, CS6. Um, if you have Photoshop Creative Cloud, it will work in that as well, which is the latest version of Photoshop. And then I also have a um, tutorial on my blog on how to download Photoshop and what plan you should use. I'll include a link for that below this video. Um, if you don't know how to use Photoshop, don't stress. You don't need any previous experience in Photoshop. You can be a total newbie, have never used the software before, and you'll be good to go. Like I show you how to do everything in Photoshop, you don't need to have previously used it before to complete this course. It is a self-paced online course, so you can start it right after um, payments processed, and you get access to the full course even if you pay via a payment plan. Um, so you can get access to it all now. You can start today or you can purchase it now and start next week. You can do a tutorial today. You could do 10 tutorials today. You can go at your own pace and you get lifetime access. So if you want to come back in a year's time, if you need a refresher, it will all still be there and you'll still have access. If you miss something in the video, you can rewind it. It's not um, live recordings. They're pre-recorded videos. So you can pause, rewind, restart, watch them as many times as you like. Um, you'll get lifetime access and you get access to the whole course up front. Um, please note I don't offer refunds because it is a digital product so make sure that you are serious please if you're going to buy do not um, request a refund because the answer will be no because there's no way to return a digital product. 
So if you are interested um, and you still have more questions, just shoot me an email. This is my email address, all about the house Etsy at gmail.com, and I'll get back to you ASAP if you have any queries. So if you want to enroll, you just click that enroll button and you can start making labels today. So I hope you um, found this helpful if you've been on the fence about purchasing the course. And if you have any more questions, remember just send me an email. Thanks for watching.